In this tutorial we'll have a look at how to create a gizmo inside of Nuke. Gizmo is simply Nuke's word for a macro, so it's a set of nodes that are wrapped into a single node and provided with a custom user interface to control the internal nodes and then saved to disk to be distributed over a network or simply reused um, at any time. As you will see it is very similar to a group node. The main difference is that the gizmo file lives on disk and is referenced by Nuke scripts while the group node actually lives inside the Nuke scripts themselves. So let's have a look at how this works. As an example I have a uh, luminance key set up here which is quite simple. I simply attached a color lookup curve to give ourselves some some nice curve control over both the uh, the master whoops that's not the master um, the master luminance here as well as a per channel tweak so that's much more control than we get out of the standard luminance key and I simply convert the result of this into HSV color space and then copy the V the value which represents the luminance as per the HSV color space model um, I'm taking that and copying that back into the alpha channel of our mainstream so that's quite simple um, let's turn that into a gizmo and then see what we get. First step to create a gizmo is to select all the nodes that are supposed to be part of it and then group them. So you select them and hit Control G or Command G when you're on a Mac or go to the other menu and hit group. This creates a group node and pastes all the selected nodes inside of it and it will also open an extra node graph here that shows you all the nodes that live inside of this group node. Let me just split this interface for a second so we can see both at once. Drag the group stuff over here. So on the left we see our main graph, on the right we see the internals of the uh, of the group. Let me just disconnect those two here. So you see we've got two input pipes. That's because when we created the group we had two unconnected input pipes in, in the selection, both of which received an input node inside of the inside of the group node. And those input nodes represent the input arrows or input pipes of the group node. So in this case here we just need one input. So I'm going to drag that over here. Use input 1 only and get rid of input 2. And you can see the respective input pipe disappeared from the group node. And I'm also going to hit N to rename the input node. And I'll call it IMG. So it's a bit more obvious that we're dealing with an image input. So you can see the label made it across to the respective input pipe and that will make our gizmo a little bit more intuitive. Right, let's hook that up here and connect the viewer and go to the alpha channel. There you go. We've got a luminance based alpha but we obviously don't have any controls yet so let's go ahead and fix that. So what we want to do is we want to expose the color lookup nodes LUT knob which is this guy here. So I'll close that and then to expose the knob, we'll just right click anywhere in the group's panel's empty space and select Manage User Knobs. This will pop up a list of, of user widgets, user knobs that we've created in this node. You can add user knobs to any node in Nuke, so have a play with that, it's quite fun. Obviously we don't have any user knobs here yet, so we've got an empty list. And uh, there's, there's a couple of ways of creating your own interface. One is by adding interface widgets and you can just pick any user knob from the add list and you can do this in any node in Nuke. This will create a widget but it won't really connect to anything so you'd have to go and uh, write expressions to then reference those new interface items. In this case we're dealing with a group so we can actually pick pick uh, knobs from nodes that live inside of this group. So we're interested in the color lookup node here so we'll expand this and the next level represents all the tabs inside of this node so we're looking into the color lookup node tab and we'll pick the LUT knob that's what holds the curves and you can see it shows up shows up here in our list and we can also immediately see it in the interface of the group the first time you create a gizmo knob or a, a user knob you get a, a tab for free, that's this guy here, and it's going to be called user. You can go and edit it, um, doesn't really matter in this case. So right, now that we've got this uh, control exposed, we can have a play and see if it works. Select that LUT, and uh, here's our luminance alpha, luminance based alpha channel, 
and uh, let's say that's all we want to do for now so the next step is saving this thing to to a disk you do this by going to the group notes note tab and you'll find the export as gizmo button which is exactly what it does and um, you want to save this into your nuke path I'm just gonna drop it into my home.nuke directory which is probably a good place to prototype your gizmos before you release them to uh, be used uh, by other people and I'm just gonna call it Luma Kia you don't have to pen the .gizmo extension it'll do that automatically and uh, by saving this to disk into our nuke path we've essentially created a new nuke node class and to test if that actually worked correctly I'm gonna go to the file menu and choose the script command or if you hit X it'll bring up the script command leaving it set to TCL will enable you to simply punch in the name that you gave your new gizmo and hit OK and that creates the new gizmo for us so there it is